No, I don't waste no time. How you doing guys and welcome to a new video for those of you that are watching this on YouTube. Uh, this is a recording for the Digital Marketing Consultant Community, which is my free Facebook group that I host along with Erwin Kaiser. Basically for agency owners, media buyers, freelancers, online consultants, etc. Uh, and it's a whole community with people that want to start and or scale their online business and uh, learn the ins and outs of online marketing, paid traffic and so on and so forth. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do. Every single new member will get access to The Vault, which is basically a platform that holds all of my courses, all of my, you know, basically, you know, free content, info products, etc., ebooks, playbooks, everything you need is on the vault and it's uh, basically free free access for everyone that joins that community so feel free to do so and for those of you that are actually watching this in the facebook group leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the vaults what your thoughts are on the community and if there's anything that you think is missing just let me know and uh, i am happy to add that in there but anyway on to the topic of today and i want to discuss something with you guys which i like to call um, the buffer analogy so for those of you that are uh, in the digital market space or have an online product or a service-based business, you guys will probably be doing quite a lot of outreach. Now, whether you're doing that with paid traffic or you're doing it organically, etc., you know, there is some kind of outreach that is taking place to your, um, basically, you know, your ideal customer. So to your prospects, to your leads, etc., some kind of outreach is taking place. Now, the mistake that I have made many, many times in the past is that once I get a bit of momentum going, once my calendar is full, once I'm getting multiple calls per day booked, I sort of take my foot off the gas because I feel like, you know, okay, I've, I've, I'm, I'm where I want to be now. You know, I'm getting calls booked. Um, you know, that's not going to change anytime soon. So I'll take my foot off the gas. I'll pause the ads, lower the ads, um, or, you know, in terms of organic, I'll stop doing the manual outreach. I'll stop sending the emails, etc. Um, and not much will change for you know the next few days or maybe even weeks but there will be a point where your pipeline will dry up and what you guys need to understand is because like I said I've learned this the hard way is that the momentum that you have right now is the result of the last few weeks or maybe even months of hard work and this is where the buffer analogy comes into play. So picture a YouTube screen for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, you know, it's easy to imagine what it looks like. And then at the bottom, you'll have a gray bar and a red bar. So the gray bar symbolizes how much of this video is already buffered in the background. So, you know, those with quick internet speed will see that that buffer bar goes right to the right hand side, you know, cause it's complete in a matter of seconds. For those of you that are, don't have the quickest internet, you'll notice that it's, you know, the red bar is basically playing catch up with the gray bar. And the gray bar, the buffer bar, is basically your outreach. So that is you reaching out to potential businesses, whether that is through paid traffic or organic. We'll just stick with organic now just for the sake of this example. And then the red bar, so the actual play bar in terms of YouTube, that is your actual current momentum. So your calls booked, your responses, etc. Now, of course, there will always be a larger gray bar than there will be a red bar because if that is not the case, so let's say you switch off your internet right now, then it's only a matter of time before that red bar catches up with the gray bar. Same goes for your outreach. So once you stop doing the outreach, once you switch off your ads, once you stop sending people to your case study funnel, once you stop sending out emails, it's only a matter of time before the people that you're in talks with, people that are you know, seeing your current emails, that will dry up. So the calls that you're getting booked now, you know, there won't be any more new calls booked. There won't be any more progress in your gray progress bar uh, being added onto it because you've pulled the plug. And like I said, the same goes for your outreach. So you always need to do more than you're currently getting, if that makes sense. So consistently stick with the outreach because what you're currently experiencing momentum wise is the results of the past few weeks. So what you're doing right now as a day of today in terms of outreach is going to come into play in a few weeks time. 
So if you pull the plug now, if you basically take your foot off the gas now, you won't feel it right now, but in a few weeks time, you will. So whether you have momentum right now or not, you always need to have some kind of consistency going on in terms of outreach. So even though you're doing well at the moment, make sure you've still got systems in place for you know later down the line. Make sure that there's still businesses being contacted by your team. Make sure that you're still contacting businesses. Make sure that the ads are still running. And you know if, like I said, you've got this phase where you've got a lot of momentum, you know, you're getting calls booked, don't take your foot off the gas or create a system or a process that allows you to take the foot off the gas without actually you know, you slowing down, if that makes sense. So even though you switch off your Wi-Fi, you've still got your data plan that is making sure that that video continues to play and that it's buffering in the background. So hope that makes sense to you guys. Hope you sort of understand the analogy there. Um, basically, what I'm trying to say is that the momentum you've got now is the results of your hard work. And if you stop working hard now, you won't feel it right now, but later down the line you will because your pipeline will dry out, okay? So like this video, if you got something else there, leave a comment down below what your preferred method of outreach is. And also if you're already in the Facebook group, leave a comment down below. If there's anything that you need help with, um, you know, like I said, I will reach out to you guys or, you know, leave a comment or create another video on that. Uh, but yeah, for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah.